Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question missing number. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So in this case, we know that missing number is 2. And uh, I think that there are several ways to solve this question, but my strategy involves utilizing the difference in indices in, to find the missing number. So index number should be 0, 1, 2, right? So the reason why we use the index number is that, um, so we know that we have index number from 0 to 2. So uh, we uh, compare total number of index number with um, total number of um, ele all elements so that we can uh, find the missing number, right? So formula is, so let's say result, so plus equal, so index number minus um, current number, so nums and i. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, we find 3 and the index number is 0. So 0 minus 3 and the total should be minus 3, right? And then next, we find 0 and the index number is 1. So 1 minus 0. And uh, this is a 1, right? So total should be minus 2. And then move next, we find 1 and the index number is 2. So 2 minus 1 and uh, 1, right? So that's why total is minus 1. And then finish iteration. So problem is um, missing number is 2, but uh, we get minus 1, right? Why? That's because we should have distinct numbers from 0 to n, right? So n is, in this case, 3. But uh, look at the index number. So we added 0, 1, 2, right? So we forgot to add 3. So that's why uh, we should add plus 3 to result variable. So now we have minus 1, right? So minus 1 plus 3 should be 2, right? So that's why we can find the missing number. Okay, so let's check. So if we have index 3 here, so we have 0, 0, 1, 1, and 3, 3. So that's why difference is 2. So that is a missing number. Yeah, looks good. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a result variable and initialize with n number. So to get the n number, actually it's easy. So just length of input array, right? So nums. And then start iteration for i in range and uh, length of nums. And then, as I told you, um, so we calculate a simple formula. So result plus equal index number minus current number i. And then return result variable. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n because we iterate through all numbers one by one. And the space complexity is 01, so we don't use an extra data structure, so that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today, so please support me with your action, such as comment and the hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.